this is my collection of uh, periodic table elements that I collected over several years. I have uh, quite a number of uh, specimens here, including some rather interesting ones, like uh, Europium, which is a rare earth metal. It's uh, got an interesting name, at least I think. This is a pure strontium metal, which has to be stored under oil to prevent it from uh, oxidizing. Uh, coin made out of bismuth, which actually bismuth is uh, normally thought of as the last stable element of the periodic table, but in fact it's uh, slightly radioactive, although its half-life is several orders of magnitude longer than the present age of the universe. Uh, niobium that's been uh, anodized blue. Now normal niobium is a uh, silver color, but they've anodized this coin blue, which is really cool. Um, here's uh, what pure boron looks like. It's uh, very uh, hard, and you can actually scratch glass with it. Carbon, basis of life, uh, number six on the periodic table. Uh, fourth most abundant element in the universe. Copper. Nice cylinder of copper. That wires and pipes are made out of. Tungsten. But they make light bulb filaments out of. And uh, in the form of tungsten carbide, it's used to make cutting tools. Now I'm going to show you two specimens here. Both of these specimens weigh exactly one gram. Um, the one on the right is uh, beryllium, number four on the periodic table, and the one on the left is uh, iridium, number 77 on the periodic table. They both weigh one gram. Now, uh, iridium has a density of 22.5 grams per cubic centimeter approximately, or approximately 22.5 times the density of water. So, uh, up along with osmium, it's uh, one of the densest elements of the periodic table. Now, beryllium, on the other hand, is uh, it's not the least dense, but it's a uh, fairly low on density for a uh, metal. Um, and uh, beryllium is, of course, hard, and uh, it's uh, toxic, especially in the form of dust. And I also have uh, uh, gallium here, which uh, melts at just above room temperature. It melts at about uh, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and it, uh, when it melts, it uh, coats the inside of the vial. Unlike uh, mercury, it uh, sticks to the inside of the vial, but uh, it uh, melts at a very low temperature. In fact, there are alloys, alloys of uh, gallium that are liquid at room temperature, and uh, this is uh, mercury, which until recently was used in uh, fever thermometers and barometers and thermostats and such, but has largely been phased out due to its uh, toxicity. And uh, over here I have a little bit uh, more mercury in a nice little uh, ampule. Um, other uh, interesting elements I have is a uh, scandium, which as I recall, the worldwide production of scandium is uh, on the order of only a few hundred pounds a year, but uh, unlike something like gold or platinum, the demand is uh, much less for this uh, element. It's uh, 21 on the periodic table. A uh, vial of uh, calcium granules, calcium metal, most people think of calcium as being a white powder, but it's actually a metal. The white powder is actually usually calcium carbonate, 
So pure calcium is a metal. It's a alkaline earth metal. Number 20 on the periodic table, by the way. Uh, here's some more uh, niobium, which is used uh, a lot in uh, body piercing jewelry because it's uh, hypoallergenic. And uh, this video would not be possible without this element, silicon. Now this is pure uh, crystalline silicon, which is a metalloid, meaning it shares properties of both metals and non-metals. Silicon is number 14 on the periodic table. It's what uh, computer chips are made out of, and uh, what the chips in the camera that's recording this are made out of. Uh, it's uh, derived from silicon dioxide, by reducing silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide is also known as quartz, and it's uh, also what glass is made out of, silicon dioxide. Um, silicon is not to be confused with silicone. Silicone is a compound. Silicon is an element. Chromium. That's what uh, chrome plating is. This is a pure chunk of uh, chromium. It's used for its corrosion resistance. This is a uh, germanium, which is also a metalloid, like silicon. Um, here we have some actual tin. Now, most things that people call tin are actually made out of aluminum rather than tin. And here is some actual aluminum in a form of a cylinder. Uh, aluminum was once more extensive than gold because it was so hard to extract back before uh, there was a large-scale electricity. More carbon in an ampule. The number one most abundant element in the universe, and you can't even see it, it's uh, hydrogen. So it powers the sun. And the hydrogen bomb. More chromium, not as shiny as the last piece. Uh, iron filings. Uh, it's what the main ingredient in steel is iron. Uh, steel is actually an alloy of iron and carbon. Uh, titanium coin. No, titanium is uh, just about as close to a super ideal metal you can get. It's uh, got a high high melting point. It's uh, pretty strong compared to... In fact, it's got the highest strength to weight ratio of any of the periodic table metals. It's an awesome metal and it makes an awesome coin. Zinc. Uh, silver. Indium. Indium is actually so soft you can dent it with your finger, which is a good reason to keep the coin in its uh, protective plastic case. Gadolinium. It's also a rare earth metal. Yttrium. Number 39 on the periodic table. Big Y symbol. Erbium, which is a rare earth, and I can't think any of any use for it other than making these really awesome coins. And, uh, here's nitrogen, which is the most abundant gas in the atmosphere. 78% of our atmosphere is nitrogen. And, um, here's lanthium, which is the first of the lanthanoid series on the periodic table. That's the first uh, big row under the bottom of the periodic table. Some iodine, which is used to make a uh, iodine tincture. In iodine tincture, it's only like, I think about like 1 or 2 percent uh, actual iodine in it. Magnesium, which burns very, very hot. 
it's used in uh, fire starters and uh, and in some uh, incendiary weapons in finely divided form. It uh, is also used for applications which require a lightweight metal and in a variety of alloys. Now here's a uh, red phosphorus, which is a uh, 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 interesting element. It's uh, what's used in uh, matches. And uh, white phosphorus is used in uh, phosphorus bombs. Nasty stuff to be around. More europium. It's got an interesting color to it if you look at it. That's, like I said before, with the other European sample, it's a rare earth. Uh, here's some manganese. Um, here's some bromine water, which is a, a dilute uh, solution of uh, bromine. Um, this is actually a coin made out of calcium, protected in a glass vial. Um, who would have thought you could ever make a coin out of calcium? But you can. And uh, I have quite a few other samples here, but uh, I'm not going to have time to discuss them all. So this is my element collection. I'm going to give you an overview of a whole thing from there. Over to there. Now I collected this set of uh, elements over many years, and uh, this set is actually worth uh, quite a bit of money. In fact, I'm not actually sure what it's worth. I would rough estimate the value of this set uh, somewhere between two thousand and two thousand five hundred dollars. Rough estimate of uh, how much I invested in this. Uh, set of elements over the years, but uh, they're really awesome to have around, and uh, I really enjoyed collecting them.